All right, we'll start here. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 39, Between the Lines. Uh, our theme for Between the Lines today is because we had noticed that uh, in the last stream, when we were double-checking a few things, we reminded ourselves that we had 10 missing chords that we added much earlier in the series. And these chords are all indicated by red, C3-2, D2-3, etc., etc. So he had the thought, those are those were missing in all the previous compositions we've done with the scale. We never used those chords because they were never articulated for us to work with. So our idea was to let's make a composition using these 10 chords. In other words, they kind of slipped between the lines. Um, we started noticing that it is distracting to start a new composition from scratch. We are also uh, commenting on the fact that it, here are the chords over here. We have tonics, we have dominance, uh, we have ambivalence, uh, but we don't have any subdominance. But uh, well, we've learned the trick. We know how to make a subdominant, even if we don't have a trichord, by using two intervals or one note. So we did that. Um, we also decided to work on three things at the same time because working on three things in parallel helps sustain our energy moving forward. So in the last stream we had been uh, looking to take snippets out of previous work and we have used a previous composition called Pulse Story and extracted a few little pieces out like this one, Oboe 1 only. And then we were going to kind of end it on oboe 2 only. And then also we came up with some of these snippets. And anyway, like that. So our idea with these snippets, which we've extracted and rendered to the project folder, is to use them potentially in a video we are working on, which is this video, Composing for the New Era, an operational definition of the metaverse. For example, we might play some of that music right here where the title's coming in, and then we fade the music out, and then we jump in. Metaverse Citizens. Welcome and thank you for your time and attention to Composing for the Future, an operational definition of the metaverse. So we probably spent the bulk of today on getting this. There were two clips that had to be pushed together, and then we marked them up for where the slides are and kind of did a little micro-editing to get rid of glitches. So uh, we did a lot of work today. What we're going to do to bring us home is go ahead and play two things. We're going to play for you. Here are the 10 chords by themselves. Here we go. And as usual, they sound random. They're not random. They're in what we call canonical order. These are all the minor chords in order of function, tonic, tonic, dominant. These are all the major, ton, ton, dom. And these are the minor major, ton, amb, ton, am, upper row, lower row, but who cares? So what we started to do was arrange them into little mini cadences, each of which has a theme. So this is urgy. This is angst. This is resting, resty, resty. And then completion. So we'll play the whole sequence. They're going to have a little uh, two second pause, and that'll bring us home.
So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to obviously continue working with everything, continue with the new music composition, the movie editing. We, one of the things we realized is we would really like to do some different uh, techniques with the composing and overlays. So for example, uh, do some Reaper mixing with that video, Magic mixing in with that video, maybe making a composite video. We shall see. Shout outs to Silent Lurker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.